my favorite ladies. There's something. Oh, that... thank you. <laughs> wow, that's nice. Hiya. Hiya. <laughs> There's you. something that has been bothering me for a while, and I would love to hear your perspectives. I apologize in advance for how long this may be. It's not really that long, to be honest. Um, I got married in Nigeria in April hmm. and was blessed to have family and friends from the UK come down to celebrate this special day. Aww. I had seven bridesmaids that consisted of my sisters, cousin, best friend, and three other close friends. My best friend and I are the only people in our friendship. My best friend and I are the only people in our friendship circle. I think that were... In the, in the, bride, in, in the bridal in, train. Yeah. Mm. Throughout the entire... Sorry to cut you. Yeah. Sorry to cut you. So they flew from Nigeria to England to have the wedding? No, no, no. She had her wedding in Nigeria. In Nigeria. And a lot of people from the UK went to Nigeria, to Nigeria for okay, her okay. wedding. Uh, throughout the entire wedding preparation, she was very absent and distant. Is her best friend. She would message me here and there to ask how things are going. She, sh- she didn't help at all for my bridal shower. She came late and was the first to leave. Hey! Yeah. Once we got to Nigeria, I'd booked for the bridesmaids to do their fittings all together. She was very standoffish towards everyone and kept to herself. Ah. Uh-uh. <laughs> we were all located in Lekki, but the wedding was taking place at my father's house in Benin City, which is about a five-hour drive. Yeah. I organized a ride for the bridesmaids to, to arrive together. Nice. She did not get on the bus. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. So how did she make her way? Make my way down, down. Walking fast. <laughs> Walking very fast. She then, <laughs> very fast. Yeah. She then called me to apologize with the lame excuse and asked if I could schedule another ride. Eh? With... <laughs> you can't be serious. No, <laughs> come on, man. Sam, in Nigeria. Bro. It's yeah. one and done. But I was literally, literally about to say it. It's even, it's even, it's even, even lucky, lucky, lucky that the one ride. even yeah. came. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Facts. And it made it. Fam. Do you get <laughs> about another five ride. hour drive? Joker. Five hour drive in Nigeria. When last did you hear that anyone's doing five hour drive in when? Nigeria? With and the, even, with if, the it, sorry, if it's five hour drive, it means it's re- in reality, it's really seven. Yeah. Sure. It's really seven. Oh, she then called me to. Uh... Yeah. I organized for the bridesmaids to arrive together. She did not get on the bus. Mm. She then called me to apologize with a lame excuse and ask if I could schedule another ride. But it was too last minute for that. Mm. She later called to inform me that her cousin's husband will bring her. That night, my bridesmaids threw me a bachelorette slumber party because of how long the drive because of how long the drive was. I was not expecting my best friend to arrive on time for the festivities, but I truly couldn't have been bothered because it was her own fault for not arriving on time. Mm-hmm. Next morning was my trad wedding. I'd gotten ready separately from my bridesmaids. Mm. Once it was time for pictures, it was when I realized that my best friend was nowhere to be found. Hey! What? Hey. Sorry, do we even know if this babe is even in Nigeria? No, nah, legit. I've <laughs> Let seen alone Benin Have City. you seen her? Hmm. This girl is in Elephant Town Castle. Boy. <laughs> she's in Elephant Town Castle. She's in... <laughs> For our, for our American followers <laughs> That's a place in London You're still going to think of Elephant and Castle Elephant and Castle? That baby's in London Boy. Let me tell you that now for free yeah. I had someone call her To at least see if she was okay When they did She did not answer hmm. I then got a text notification from her And from the preview All I saw was Hey sis Sorry I'm on my way uh-huh. From there I put my phone down Because I really couldn't be bothered And That's... was more concerned For her safety Mm. It's true though It's like Nigeria Yeah mm. Hours after my trad Is when my best friend Strolled in mm. Strolled in Hours after Or like After Like you know when Probably yeah, yeah, like yeah, after yeah. the ceremony yeah. And you know the And you know the trad as well Was already late Behind yeah. schedule Definitely. Yeah So she strolled in mm. She kept apologising And had no valid reason To explain why she was Absent mm. And again I didn't pay her no mind Because I really did not want it To affect my mood Facts on the morning of my white wedding, she got into a big argument with my wedding planner ah. because she was behind schedule for hair and makeup. Hey. Fast forward, weeks after the wedding, I linked up with her to address the issue and her reason was that she felt left out of the process and she did not... She felt like I did not defend her in regards to the arguments we, we had. We agreed to disagree, agreed to disagree and moved on. However, I am still very unsettled mm. and her, reasons, her reasonings do not make any sense. Hmm. Do you think she's jealous of my marriage? Oh. oh. Or she's deliberately tried to ruin my day? Hmm. 
Mm. Please Those are the only read. two options you came for. Literally. No, no, that's, that's, that's rim. That's real oh. rim. But I don't think it's far-fetched. Your best friend, why is she not on that's the bus what, going to... Friend. Why mm. is she not on the thing? Mm. Why are you getting into an argument? What are you doing talking to the event planner, the wedding planner anyway, mm-hmm. about hair and makeup? Mm. Do you understand? It's your mm. best friend's day. Why are you... Why are you even behind schedule anyway? How could you possibly... You're meant to be further ahead. Mm, legit. You're Why is she be always behind... One every every step of the way, she's behind schedule. Mm. She didn't go on the bus. She now said that, oh, she didn't the best friend... Summer party. She didn't attend mm. the trad. Like, mm. what, uh, imagine you're getting married. Your friend misses the bus. Your friend now calls, calls you, to, you say, to say, can you organize up? another are bus you okay? for something that's five hours yeah, away stop, in Nigeria? Stop. Stop, you're smoking stop. fish. Yeah, you're defo. Defo. What the heck? Defo. You're smoking fish. Defo. What the heck? Defo. Yeah. Are you all right? Nah, it's you're mad. You're signing you all right? Nah, it's yeah. mad. I can't lie. I think, okay, those two questions, I mean, the things the you should options. Thought, yeah, yeah, I said, ah, I, mean, I don't know which one I'll pickle. I wouldn't normally go for that, but... What was the second one, Tori? Jealous of my marriage. Jealous of my marriage, or oh. did she deliberately, deliberately try to ruin my day? Mm. It's looking like option two. I yeah, that one, yeah. That one's more likely, but I don't know whether it's deliberate. I think that... Okay, no, it's deliberate, but it's not about ruining your day. It's about making them the centre of attention. Like, I feel like certain people I can't, lie, can't that's handle... My day. No, no, that's I know. It's, 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 no, it's, a, it's, a, it's a byproduct, but what I'm trying to say is that... A byproduct? I haven't said that in a while. Um, <laughs> <laughs> since chemistry days. Um, but what I was going to say is that because she wants to feel like she is important... On mm. the day Like Your friendship with her You obviously You're using the term Best friend Like She wants to feel like She is a massive part of that Which I kind of understand Like you know If your best friend's getting married You are like Super happy for them Like you Do you know what I mean Like it's a, Not to say it's a big day for you It's not, it's not, your, not your day it is But like you're happy you. for them mm-hmm. Right But some people love Attention Like and that's one thing I've realised That some people are just So attention hungry When mm. The focus mm. is not on them. They have to circle back to them. Like, they have to circle back to themselves and make something. Yeah, but you know me. Like, think about you, honey. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Um, and it's it's actually, it's, um, what's I going to say? It's not that difficult to do that. Like, sometimes, and even me, like, I realize as well, I sometimes find myself in situations where, like, someone's explaining something and then I'm like, oh, yeah, you know, even me, I've, and because you're trying to, re- it depends on how you rephrase it. You're trying to relate to the person but you're also slightly making it about yourself because they don't want to know about what you've been through. They want to focus mm. on themselves. Mm. So, do you know what I mean? So certain things can be perceived in certain ways. However, to this one, I feel like the girl is probably someone who's very like used to being the center of attention. Mm. Um, and yeah, she just wants to make sure that like she feels valued. Like, okay, cool. Oh my God, I try to make, like, oh my God, like can things move for me? Because she thinks she has certain like power. Mm, right. In the friendship, do you know what I mean? Um, so that's what I think. I don't know what you guys, what you guys think about it. I just think the friend is just not a good like. Mm. I don't know how you can just be ruining your best friend's day, mm. and it's not just any day. Yeah, it's a day it's that she's going to remember for the rest of her life. Yeah, it's mad. They say that your wedding day is your most happiest day, mm. but you're not making the day happy for your best friend. Mm. The one I don't even understand is why are you not getting on the bus? Yeah, I don't know what you're doing. Like, imagine like it's a scheduled bus. Mm. We and we we're all in this room, we're right? all Nigerians here. You already know that when they said the bus is leaving at five, the bus day is not even leaving until eight. Yeah, legit. So it's kind of like how are you still not on the bus? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Facts. yeah, yeah. Facts, facts. It's like you're deliberately... And if there's a reason, though, like, for example, they might actually... Let's say there was a reason. Let's say, but like, you're not she com- actually she's got not stuck. communicating the like, reason. Like, exactly. And that's what I think it is. It's like, you don't want to... You don't want to communicate properly, and but then you still expect people to manoeuvre and do things for you off yeah. of the basis of the fact that it's your best friend. Yeah. You, if, if, if that's the case, like, just say, like, what's happened. In fact, that she's like, again, the person keeps on saying every single time, She's given her like an option to say, okay, what actually happened? But she's not giving anything tangible. Like it's not making sense. That's when it becomes like fishy. And my thing is, like, why are you then? You've put yourself in a predicament where you're missing the bus, you're not happy with hair and makeup or something. Mm. Why are you going to your best friend who's getting married? Mm. You know when it's like your birthday, you're planning something, mm. and then 
the people from that are, are coming to your birthday start ringing you. Like, why are you ringing me? Yeah, hey. Like, I'm the birthday person. Yeah. Can you ring someone no, else? Yeah, like, yeah. oh, can you help me with Can you help me? Oh, where, where's the place? Mm. Um, what the... Are you all right? Like, yeah. it's nine o'clock. The yeah. thing, I told you to it's come at seven. seven. Yeah. yeah. So why are you you're calling me? Yeah. You're, you're, now asking, and now you're now calling me Don't to ask that. me. That's Especially nice. if the birthday's like a big birthday. Like, yeah. why are you calling me? Yeah. Like, please. Mm. As, you're now calling someone that's already stressed out. Yeah. It's just birthday. Yeah. Imagine wedding. You're already stressed out. Yeah. Nigerian weddings. You're doing two. You're in another city, Benin City. You're try. You're you you've already booked a a um a bus. Mm. The insecurity in Nigeria. You want to make sure that everybody's all together, all at once, so that once you hear, oh, the bus has made it to Benin City, everyone's like, oh, that means that everybody is here. But no, mm. your so called best friend. Is is nowhere to be found. Yeah. You're That's panicking so on your you're panicking on your tri day or whatever or whatever day you were thinking where oh, is she like okay. what's going on? Mm. Mm. Do you understand? Mm. That's so inconsiderate. Yeah. So it's inconsiderate. Like, yeah. Not even just the fact that like you've now inconvenienced your friend who's mm. getting ma- your best friend who's getting married, mm. but you also have them worrying about your safety as well. Mm. Can't even sleep well. Yeah, properly. man. No, you're thinking, not where's this girl? I haven't heard from her. Yeah, it's not a place to be playing with. Like that, <sighs> a five-hour journey, and then, mm. and then the day of your trad. Yeah, she's strolling in after the ceremony. Yeah, crazy. Nah. You already know that your SHB is different from the the, the regular people. Yeah. So people are like, ah, where were you on the stage when Literally. it was time to take the bridesmaid and is... the groom men's pictures? Yeah, crazy. Ah, That's not your friend. Hey, hmm. no. Yeah. No, 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 no. Wait. No, 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 so no. So are you guys saying that you don't, you think that the person like isn't a good friend? Like as in like she should be questioning the friendship that she has with the person? Yes. 100%. Mm. I don't see 100%. any of it. But uh, if you okay, have but, uh, the capacity mm. to ruin a day mm. that your friend is going to remember for the rest of her life, mm. Your friend. Mm, mm. Okay, but remember the first thing she asked about. Do you think she's jealous of my? Do you think that could be? A, it, do you think that could actually be a situation? Because it, it could be. You know, some people find it very hard to process the fact that like their best friend is um getting married. Down, getting married. Like maybe yeah. they're going on. Do you think that could sure. be a possibility? Like, do you see why she would have said that? <clears throat> it's definitely a possibility. Mm. Um, and it's I a, think it's actually a very uh normal reaction. Normal reaction, normal feeling, potentially. What? To what feel... is a normal feeling? To feel like they are jealous of. No, for the girl to potentially be <coughs> jealous of her friends getting married. Like, mm. I don't want to say it's normal as in mm. like everybody is jealous. Like, mm. no. But what I mean is like, it's not like a, oh my gosh, I've never heard of anybody doing yeah. feeling that way yeah, before. Yeah, 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 that mm. makes sense. But my thing is like, we've said this before. You can feel jealous or envious mm. or like you think like, I really want this for me. Mm. But I think you, when you love somebody, mm. you, you have the capacity the to push that feeling to the side. Mm-hmm. It's got nothing to do with you. Yeah. We can talk about it yeah. next week. Legit. As for today. Mm. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry, no, that is so mad. I think you should definitely be questioning whether that baby's even your friend. Mm. I'm not going to lie. Mm. I can't even, I cannot even imagine a situation where I would do that to any of my friends. Mm, mm. And even if I did something like that, best believe I'm not strolling, fam. Oh, fam. I'm not strolling. Yeah, facts, facts. Nah, sorry. And I would be given like a proper, there would be a, there would be, there would a, be a reason. reason. There'd be a reason. Like, let, let's say that you genuinely missed the bus. Best believe I'm going to be the first person in that trad. Ceremony, yeah, and also Opening I wouldn't be asking with the with the with the planner. Legit, but things, I wouldn't be asking her to arrange something. <laughs> there's, for no me. Way. there's no, there's way. no way. It's your fault. Regardless, there's no of what way. Happens, it's your fault. How does as everyone it's make it but you? Yeah, legit. Yeah, Heck. yeah literally. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's, mad. it's mad. But yeah, no, I think um overall, like the girls have said, I would, I would slightly be questioning a little bit whether she is <laughs> so called best friend. No, 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 no. Best friend is a big, big, mm, big questioning. Yeah. Big term. And right. you know, with people that are getting married or have mm. gotten married, mm. always say that you find out your true friends when it's, when it's time for your wedding. Yeah, it's interesting. Hey! It's interesting, interesting. Mm. Hmm. God day, God day, God day. God day. Legit, legit, legit. Um, But anyways, hi guys and welcome back. 
to another episode of the BTS podcast. You are joined by your lovely host, Beatrice. Tammy. And Sharon. Welcome back, guys. Really Ooh. good to have you. Yum, 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 yum. Yeah, hopefully you guys have been enjoying all the pods that we've been dropping recently. Legit, legit. And um, again, same caveat. The makeup is because we're coming from somewhere pod related. So please, just this is just a one-time thing. Don't be expecting this beat or next week or... I'll be back to my normal self. My eyebrows looking misplaced. <laughs> be, facing from, be facing forward. Yeah, or don't be saying, I prefer your makeup back then. I can't get it again. <laughs> we paid for this, girl. honey. This ain't, this ain't Legit. my hand. But if, huh, feel free to donate to. I donate to. <laughs> feel free to donate if to. If you like what you see, if you donate like what to. you see. Legit, man. <laughs> Legit. <laughs> but yeah, welcome back, guys. Another episode. Hope you guys are doing well. Hope you guys... I've had a good start to your week as usual. Um, so yeah, during this time, we typically do two things. We do um oh well, so we don't do two things. <laughs> this <laughs> time <laughs> saying, uh, uh, we don't have uh, <laughs> this time um we have um a playlist. So as you guys know, each week we add a song to our Spotify and Apple Music playlist. Um, you will find the link to the playlist in the description, wherever you're watching from, whether that's YouTube, whether that's Spotify. Just Apple Music. Just click on the link in um, the description and you will see the links to Spotify and to Apple Music. I know a couple of you guys have been asking about Tidal. Are you going to pay for my subscription? Oh, Are you gonna pay people for my want subscription? us to drop the plays on Tidal. Yeah. Please, we're already doing a lot with Spotify Brother. and Apple. Sorry. I'm Tidal. sorry. I'll give it to Tidal. Their sound quality is the best. Really? What? Seriously? Really? Seriously. Like, I used to have title that, when that it first came out. Actually, saying it. Yes, because there's even two. There's when I did it. I don't know how it is now, but mm. when I when I had it, there were two different types of subscriptions. Uh-uh. You could get the normal music, or you get like the high def. Mm-hmm. High def, fam. Can't lie. Tidal has the best sound quality. Not That's HD. crazy. What? Not so you're hearing it. You're hearing it in different like, ways. It's just. It just sounds so like the music. Bass. Clear, in the studio. Like yeah. Oh, wow. Like it feel like, like uh, what are they doing? I don't, I don't know. know. Are, they, are, are artists sending like a different version of the track to them? And no, I don't know what I don't know what maybe type of you know quality. how like maybe when we create our snippets, we download and upload and download mm. and upload. Mm. Maybe I don't know, they're just doing just... one download and that's it. They're I don't know. Because, it's weird, though. because I remember when Tidal like came about, obviously it's Jay Z's thing. Mm. I remember the promo for it, like they had like all the celebrities mm. there, like sitting at the table. So I I think they've I think. When people stream music on Tidal, yeah. I think the artists get more money yeah, than I Spotify so well. I and think so. I think so. Apple Music. But yeah. I, I think because of that, Tidal is a bit more expensive than Spotify and Apple Music. Mm. But oh. I have to give it to Tidal. Sound quality, immaculate. If you are a Tidal listener, mm. please, please clarify yeah. and yes. tell us yeah, let if us there's know. a huge difference. But I definitely saw it. At the time, I don't think I had Spotify. I was just comparing it to Apple Music. Okay. And Apple Music oh, sound Apple quality is better than, is better is better than Spotify. Spotify. So yeah. you already know. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. Mm. We still love Spotify. Yeah. yeah so. I love Spotify for its, um, it's a feature. interface. It's user, yeah. it's the user feature, experience. The user yeah. experience. So much yeah. better. Sound quality, Apple Music is always better. I don't know what they're doing Probably there. Because, but it's because it's an iPhone as well. You think? I definitely think. I, anything yeah, yeah, Apple yeah. related is just so much better. Yeah. yeah. But in terms of like user experience and mm. the interface, Spotify is definitely like you play one song, hmm. the next, all the next songs after is is based off that one song that you yeah. played. Apple Music, please, yeah, hmm. Jackie, please, hmm. yeah, yeah, hmm. fantastic. So, but um, yeah, what are we talking about? Song of the week, Jam yeah. song. <laughs> no, so oh, because someone asked about. If oh we yeah, have, about. Oh uh, yeah, the answer yeah. no. Yeah. We don't have a song. We don't no, have. A, we don't oh, have title. Title. Yeah, yeah, yeah. title. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not yet. Anyway. Yeah. yeah. We'll see what, yeah. We, can we'll see what we can do. do but uh, <laughs> <laughs> the business manager said no. <laughs> <laughs> For now. <laughs> Um, um, have, yeah, have you guys got songs got some to too. add to the playlist? Yes. So as usual, I'm going to add two songs. Um, one song I'm going to add is from Friday. If you guys don't know who gets the artist that she never really remembered. <laughs> that is so um, funny. Um, anyway, he dropped a album recently. Really? Oh. Yeah. It's really really good. I think I tweeted this and he liked it, and I was getting really excited. Uh-uh. I was going to face hey. onto bitches. I love it. Yeah. I was like, okay. <laughs> anyway. I tweeted this and I think it's true obviously because I tweeted it. 
But I love an artist's tone. Like that fascinates me more than any other skill and mm. riff and run. Mm. And I think his tone is, very nice. is so mm. unique. Mm. It's so unique. Mm. Hey! Anyway, unique. this... <laughs> that's, that's what, what you are. are. Okay. So, yeah. If you haven't listened to this album, listen to the album. The song that I like on the album... Well, I like a lot of the songs. Mm. But um, one of my favorite songs on there is Mercy. Um, featuring Byron Messier. Yeah, that's the guy. That's the guy that does Taliban. Oh, is that him? Yeah. Big Juno. Really? Okay. <laughs> Big Juno. Okay, and the other song I'm going to add, I'm going to take it over to the UK. Uh-huh. I'm going to add a Gabsy song. Mm. I'm going to add Hear Me Out. Big Tune as well. Yeah, big Give one. it up to Gabsy. Big one, yeah. big one, big one. Love it, love it, love it. Come on. What about you guys? Um, I'm going to add Burner Boy, They Play. I don't know what song that is. I feel like it's I from should. the album. From the album. Oh, yeah. I think I know. Back it. On the Sunday, they play. You put probably with the Friday. Yeah. Mm. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, yeah. Good tune. Yeah. I haven't fully listened to the album properly. I've just been hearing songs like here and there. And I actually need to sit down and properly listen to it. Mm. But people are, are saying that the album is really good. Mm. So that's the song that I really like from it. So yeah. Okay. I mean that one. Cool. Um, I know last time when we were adding a song, I added a song by Nizzy and I added Drumstick. This time I'm going to add Mona Lisa. I know it's another song, Mona Lisa. But um, mm. yeah, <laughs> I like the song. Um, It's a nice vibe. Mm. Um, Yeah, I've been enjoying Nizzy quite a lot. I think I actually, the song Drumstick, which I put last time, um, I was listening to it on the way back from recording one time. And then it was again, Spotify's feature that when it like goes on to like mm-hmm. play other songs mm-hmm. from artists. Mm. I was like, oh my God. This song's nice. And then I heard Mona Lisa. Ah, Mona Lisa. I said, ah, <laughs> this is Mona Lisa. Back again, man. <laughs> yeah, the song's about. Mona Lisa about. must be tired. No, of tired music artist. In that pose as what? Brad. Ship Rose? Like, why? <laughs> like, every time, every. Artists time. love that. Artists line, man. love Mona Lisa. Boy. And I don't get it because it's like. <laughs> The 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 painting isn't even like any like she's not in a bust down side part. But she's like, the so I, I'm bet, just but like, I think they say that this she's girl the most. Says, are you keeping re- that Sharon said? But she's not in a, a bust, bust down, down side part. It's bow straight. Your that's what I'm trying to understand. They're making her sound like she's one. <laughs> no, but if I think it's because she's sorry. the most recognizable mm. face. Yeah, she mm. is. But if you for some reason didn't know what Mona Lisa was, who Mona Lisa was, and you said, "Let me go to the Louvre," which is where it is, right? Yeah. You get there now, you're like, ah, this is the babe. Hmm. <laughs> no, the anyway. cues are all outside for, bro. Crazy. Anyway, yeah. yeah. They love Mona Lisa and they song. do, man. Mm-hmm. They do. But um, yeah, so those are, that's the song that I'm adding to the playlist. So yeah, as we always say, um, you guys go and check out the playlist. Us on uh, Spotify and on Apple Music. Check it out. The links are in the description and vibe along. I sing along to the, you know, music we've been putting. I'm putting some good ones on there. I've been enjoying it as well. I've been mm, vibing. Me too. Um, so yeah, make sure you guys go ahead and check it out. Um, but anyways, going back to the topic, the dilemma about the whole bride, <coughs> well, the best friend and the mm-hmm. bridesmaid situation. Obviously, I think people might have been a bit shocked. I don't know. I can't remember. <laughs> oh, hello. Careful. Entanglement. <laughs> good one. Sorry, guys. My hair was tangled in the forest. <laughs> um, but I was going to say... Um, Obviously, people might have been shocked when we revealed, and I don't know if you actually said it previously before that episode, mm. but with um, Pastor Meerkat, we basically touched on the fact that, like, me and Tammy said that we didn't want bridesmaids nope. at all. Um, nope. <laughs> no. Nope. When it came if to you're my friend, wedding. no. Yeah, and I think, like, even when I still say it to now, like, people are still like, oh, my God, like, what the hell? Like, Mm-mm. this is crazy. Um, but then, I don't know if you've seen, I don't want to, um, I'll get her name after, but I think her name is Aisha. Aisha? She's like, she has that pod or like the show where they talk, she talks the with bride, oh, the, bride the bride room. room. The bride room. Yes, yeah. yes. I've been really enjoying that. I mean, um, you know, she gets people, yeah. who are, women who have been brides um, to kind of just talk about their experiences mm-hmm. and how it started is that I think she went on a, po- well, yeah, she just went on a podcast before yes. Yes. called The yes. Vendor's Table. The Vendor's yeah. Table, yeah, yes. which is why like an MC, I can't remember what he's Sorry. Name. Yeah, go on. Do you oh, remember don't that? Do oh, it. yes, do it. do it. Do it. Gotta do it. You gotta do it. You gotta I'm do trying it. to remember exactly, but I remember that I was laughing. Exactly. I know how much what MC it is. Should... So, MC. This oh, guy... the MCs. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Gosh, I was going to say, this guy, he came onto The Vendor's Table, which like Beatrice said, is a podcast. Yeah. And he's an MC. Mm. Um, and he was essentially <laughs> saying that I remember it now. 
read someone's comments. Yes. <laughs> he was basically saying that, like, oh, when people come on, you and people inquire and they'll be like, oh, yeah, I want an MC. And you ask them how much their budget yeah, what, is. Yeah, what's your budget? Say, like, 500 pounds. They'll say 500 pounds. He's just like, bro, we ain't been charging 500, 500 pounds, pounds in the like, last like, five, five years. years. Like now, yeah, it's like upwards of 800 pounds, right? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, like between yeah. 800. So upwards. comment. No, honestly. Someone said if you're charging 800 pounds, I might as well call my uncle, my funny uncle. <laughs> no, they said my funny cousin in Nigeria. Yeah, <laughs> I think someone also my said funniest, funny uncle. So my, like, my, my funniest, funniest yeah. cousin <laughs> in Nigeria. No. Legit. Legit. Like, but, the thing, but, the, but the thing about that is like, if you're not someone that comes from a family that throws a lot of parties, that has when your dad is turning 52, when your dad is turning 50, mm. when he's turning 60, mm. when he's turning 55, then all, well, <laughs> the, when your when your dad is uh, turning all those ages, yeah. he's always doing a party. Yeah. If someone who has never done a party is just gonna is getting married, yeah. They're not gonna really know what the the budget is like. They're not gonna really know the scope. Mm. So if you and Asking someone what's your budget is kind of a loaded question because it's like, yeah. mm. ah, you're asking me what my budget is. Yeah. And then when I say my budget, you're shaming me I for, like, for, for, for asking what, what's my budget. I, I think what you, he's, no. I don't think that's, maybe I explained it wrong. No, you didn't explain it wrong. No, you didn't explain it wrong. I'm just giving a different angle. Okay, mm. I think what he was trying to say is like, it's really funny because when you do like just in general, like, out of curiosity, what is like yeah. people's budgets mm, for this sort of slow. thing? And you do like a little market mm, survey. Mm-hmm. It's like people be saying stuff like 500 pounds, but mm. it's like we don't charge that. But then, do you know what? Yeah, I kind of like agreed with him in the beginning because I was like 500 pounds for an MC at a wedding. That is kind of cheap. But then I was like, then somebody said in the comments, like, what are you 800 actually? pounds in one day. Yeah. Then I did yeah. I said, wait, how much do I make no, a day? Yeah. Yeah. I said, no, sorry. Yeah. I'm with them. Yeah, facts. <laughs> It's not like you can get a wedding every day, yeah. Yeah. But I can't lie. Maybe. There are some MCs. Let's mm. give it. Let's you know who are. Yeah, yeah. Really give know. it up to him. You know, I, I think give it, up to I him. I can't remember what number he said, but he said close like three hundred. Close to three hundred. Between 300. Two, two to three hundred weddings. No, it was. A year. It was like literally. Two Is that how many he does? Two, 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 two seven, seven, three hundred yeah. events every year. Every year. And he's definitely one of those people that's charging, charging. more. Yes. So when you think about mm. it like that, ha, ha. you're Shut like, you're like, yes, maybe give I should call my funniest mic. cousin. Give me a no, mic. Give us a mic. Now, nah, legit. Legit, Fam, man. Yes, yeah, yeah. Holler us and drop MC. us an email, man. <laughs> drop us an email and let us know if anyone else. I will MC. I will, yes. MC. I will CM. But the thing is, uh, what? Uh, the way we're talking, <laughs> hey. yeah, uh, the way we're talking, we know it's not easy because no, it's no, not, not everyone can do it. The, the thing is, though, for easy. someone like me, yeah, and for someone like us, we have a podcast. We are natural talkers. We can command the stage. I'd not command stage. I'm like, I'm not. You can work a artist. stage. We can work a stage. We can work a mic. Mm. We know how to talk. Okay, we do email, jokes. We do. Know. You know what I mean? All that sort of thing. Yeah. So for us, we may not see such a massive big deal in what they're doing, but for mm-hmm. someone who is timid, someone that's not out there, I can understand why. Like that's definitely not your forte. You can fully understand why you're paying that amount. But just like the person said, when you've got a funny uncle mm-hmm. or a funny cousin mm-hmm. who has been making the family laugh for centuries. Not, I don't want to say centuries, but you got to have for decades. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Ah, that person can do mm-hmm. what he wants to. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, but the thing is, obviously, when you're an MC, like the guy I mentioned, you typically are doing more than just MCing. You're, mm. coordin- you're basically working with coordinators mm-hmm. and coordinating the yeah, whole yeah, day. Yeah. Sure. Not just putting on a show. It's yeah, not yeah, an yeah, easy not. job. It's not no, an easy job not. at all. Like, and I can't lie. Obviously, I have to mention Folly Fresh because one thing about him, yeah, every time that I've been to a wedding that he's like emceed, number one, I've actually been impressed with like, he he knows how to command a yeah. space. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, and I can see that like, it's not just a flimsy thing. Like I no. remember there was one time, mm. um, it was so peak. He must have like shared on his story how unwell he was. Because obviously like, you know how we all go yeah, through yeah, illnesses? Yeah, like yeah, we can yeah. take days off. Like if it's someone's wedding, like how no. are you going to just turn, t- like call them on the day and be like, I'm sick. I actually cannot go to your wedding. It's mad. Do you know what I mean? So, and obviously when you think about the fact that he's doing 300 and something a, a year. year, like it's a lot. Bearing in mind, how many days are there in the year? Bro, and the thing is, you know, these MC, literally, you, you know how many, um, Events where it's like back to back, where he'll fly to London, then fly to this place, and fly to this place, and then fly to that. It's just a lot, yeah. Yeah, I remember he said there was one time he was so unwell, he was 
people I don't know who people who have thing, but he was someone who was throwing up every single like fifteen minutes at the wedding. He had to run to the toilet, but he obviously do the thing, talk, and he run to the toilet, and he was thrown wow. up from the beginning of the wedding to the end of the wedding. Obviously, nobody had a clue. Hmm. And it's like those sort of things you can see that that's a lot of effort to be putting mm. into. Like it's hard in those certain circumstances to like have a sick day because mm. having a sick day is a lot. That like, there's no yeah, yeah. also if you have a wider team, like an MC is a bit more difficult because it's like actually just you. Yeah, sure. If you have a wider team, you can just part, you know, if it's like a catering, you can pass it on to the other chef. Mm. You know, all that sort of thing. But I can I understand that it is a lot of pressure as well because I yeah. can't lie. A rubbish MC. Oh, that ruins can the ruin the whole thing. A rubbish MC can I ruin can everything. No, what legit. Give me the mic and I can do it myself. Mm. But at the same time, it's like, man, one thousand pounds. Listen, one, one thing day. I have dipped mm. is weddings are expensive. Jesus, so expensive. Eh? So expensive. So you but can't these even vendors. Be... Mm. I've spoken to some people that are yeah. married, getting yeah. married, have gotten married. They say that once you say, let's say. You say, oh, my mom is doing 50th birthday. Yeah. Okay, the food will be 2,500. Mm. Oh, the same caterer, the same, the same caterer, the guests. same amount of guests. Oh, I'm doing a wedding. Oh, that will be 10,362 mm. pounds, mm. 75 cents. Legit. Before that. Legit. Yeah, Legit. no, it's, like, it's crazy. Hey! It's crazy. Me, I'm what all you say for wedding? tricking these people. Yeah, it's They a times lot. it. It's I'm all for tricking these people, fam. <laughs> Don't kill me. No, but no, no, but have no. more power to you. <laughs> no, but have you heard that makeup artists hate that? Yeah, no, of course they hate the stories that they've, they've yeah. said that. Oh, yeah. yeah, like they said that. Oh, she would say that. Oh, she's coming for bridal trial, but really and truly, that that's, her that's her wedding day. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Like, do you know what it is? These, like, I don't want to call out all MUAs. Yeah, yeah but yeah. a select few. Like, mm. You people, you know yourselves. You know yourself. You do this thing that I'm about to say. Mm. It's like. You want to charge triple. Yeah. I'm not being funny, but it's the same makeup. Are you telling yeah. me that you're good? You have gold plated um, mm. eyebrow pencil. Yeah. Or gold they claim, encrusted. They uh-huh. claim. What? I'm not on their side, but mm. I'm just saying what they claim mm. is that the prep and the type, fair, of, the type of um maybe the primers mm. thing is a bit different. Like, They'll use one that's for sweat proof, something not been proof, mm. and not that proof because you're going to be in the makeup for literally the whole day. Mm. And also because you're doing things like professional photography, mm. things like that. And also they'll be with you the whole day. Yeah. That's touching different. Up. Yeah, that one's different. Side, that, obviously yeah. that's different, but, but I'm just saying, yeah. that's, what, that's what their rebuttal is. Mm. My thing is like, I'm all for you charging more. Like, yeah. I understand that. Mm. Like, if you're going to... If it's a wedding, of course, you're going to be... You're going to have to do extra things that you maybe wouldn't have done before. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I don't think it warrants the kind of prices mm. that some people, people would be really charging. Like, yeah. yeah, some people are charging like 1K. Ridiculous. It's more. Also, I just feel like, why do I have to tell you it's my wedding? Mm. Sorry. When we got no, our makeup think, today... Think... Wait, sorry. When we got our makeup done today, did you guys give an explanation as to what it was that you were doing your makeup for? Yeah, because she asked me. Oh, really? I didn't get asked. Yeah, she was like, oh, what I are just you? said that you three on this day and you see my makeup. She was like, oh, yeah. no, I'm saying I, she asked me whilst I was getting it done. Okay, see, that's yeah, different. The, mm. Because if you were now, if you were then like, oh, yeah, it's my wedding today, I'm actually going to, is she going to now say, wait, why didn't you tell me? Mm. No, because but my, my thing is like, okay, go on. I was just going to say that, like, I don't really understand why people, why, because the makeup artists are saying that people have tricked them, mm. but some people have just not said what it is. Mm. I don't understand why you have to tell the person that's offering you a service what the service, what no, they're doing. I think what Tammy said, though, it's a different level. It's of a like, different level of, of... Even the like, makeup. The, quality, makeup, the makeup itself that you're doing. Is, is actually different. Yeah. Like, even today, when I was like, oh, because she asked me, she was like, oh, do you want highlighter on my cheek? And I'm like, I'm not really a... Highlight a person mm. But then she was like Are you sure Because you're doing A photo shoot And then when the light Hits you from this way And I was like Okay mm. put the highlighter On my face Like mm. they might do Different things That they wouldn't that would do yeah, For, for your 25th yeah. Birthday and like party I said, mm. Like I said It's fine I, That's fine And I, just I do I do think that If it's a wedding Like yeah. obviously You're gonna charge More Yeah But my thing is Even like catering For example Like if it's a wedding Then you know Like okay cool Like we maybe are going to need more people to help in terms mm. of like, because if it's just a party, yeah. some people may eat, some people might not eat. Or yeah. I don't even know. Do you know what I mean? But mm. I just think the actual price. I, I don't, I'm not going to say the vendor, but you guys should know. You know, I've said that there's a vendor that like, I know I really want to like uh, do mm. my wedding. I'll say the Your name. Your makeup. Off. 
No, you make my up a food catering. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I'll explain yeah. the I place. So. I won't say the name, but yeah. Someone um, revealed the prices that they charge for their wedding and guess how much it was on food. How much? Guess. I'm going to say 12000 No, more. Eh? Yeah. What is this 15. for, sorry? Rice and what? 15 they, More. 20 It was basically around 18 to 20 what they spent on food alone, catering for their What, like wedding. jollof rice, what? Jollof rice, chicken, but it's like, um, you know, that you have like after party food and starters. Mm. The whole, the whole thing. Morning. I feel like I know who that. Yeah. 18,000 pounds. On food alone. That's a venue. Yeah. You'd be saying you want to get married, but it's like, are you even prepared? Are you prepared, man? It's Bruh. crazy. But anyway, sorry. Back I don't to know what, the, what you were saying. Yeah, so back to the bride's room. She talks with women who have like um, had obviously been a bride and just spoken about their experience. And obviously one thing that we mentioned here is that a lot of the takeaways that people say about weddings is that you really find out who like your friends are and who is not for you. Mm -hmm. And I think some of the stories and situations that like brides have found themselves in, like it number one definitely impacted me in terms of coming up with the conclusion that I don't want to be dealing with Mm -hmm. people not necessarily that I don't trust my friends or like I don't like my friends or whatever it is yeah (laughs) but it's just like your friends no but like me (laughs) but it's more just the fact that it's just like the I don't want to put people in situations that will then cause them to that could cause them to react when yeah. actually the day's got nothing to do with you. What is the situation? Because I'm just saying, like, even for example, well, the whole why, dress... Why, why would you... What's the question? <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> what? Beatrice was answering. No, because obviously we have the same stance. Yeah. So I'm asking, what yeah, is yeah. your... My question is, what are the situations that you would put, in, put people even in just that would make... Like, simply like, your hair. Like, yeah, for example, your hair needs to be a certain way. Not everyone you're is now be like, oh, can, and okay, to do that you, sort of thing. You, you, you so, but you're be, not going to be telling people to do styles they've never done before. Yeah, I know, uh, but still. You could be. And you could be saying, like, what, you, you could a frontal pony. Give me an example. Okay, I want you guys to do a frontal pony, ponytail. Yeah, I don't wear yeah, frontals. Yeah, but people have... I don't, I don't wear my edges. my edges. I don't... When, I've only but ever you, worn a frontal once. Okay, but you've worn a frontal before and you would do it again for your no, someone's wedding. No, no. The reason you why I don't wear don't. frontals because I don't like the I don't like frontals, mm. and you're putting people in financial you're putting people yeah in financial thing where they have to for, have where to. they have to do it I based on like the it. fact that yeah you're my friend and you want to do everything but mm. you just I just don't want to be the reason why someone is huffing and puffing mm. because of frontal. Yeah. Are you uh, often a problem? The thing is, I've always understood your stance. Mm. On, like, I've always understood your reasoning. Yeah. Which is why I was actually asking Beatrice because I never really understood. Like, obviously, I've never, I, I don't think I've ever really asked you yeah. like, why. Yeah. But like, I just actually never really knew yeah. like, why it was that you. Yeah. Uh, no, it really is simply just like, I don't want to put people in a situation where, because I think for me, I'm very particular. particular. Yep. Yeah. That's like me as well. I'm very, I'm, like, I'm not trying to say like, my wedding's gonna because weddings, you know, wedding's not a big deal. Like marriage is not a big deal. Right? But what I say is that when it comes to events, yeah, one thing about me, I'm gonna do it well. Like, and yeah. I'm gonna put my effort into it, and I like things a particular way. Yeah. And that sort of thing might be expensive. That thing, I might decide to splash here. I might splash mm-hmm. to splash here. I'm not going to be the reason why someone needs to now go into debt or mm-hmm. go or find themselves in a tricky situation to please me. Particularly because I actually see my wedding day as me and my husband's day. It's not my bride's day. My bridesmaid's day. It's not my even the maid of honor's day. My maid of honor, the reason why I've even, obviously, you're always going to be my maid of honor. But the reason why I feel like that's important is because, one, I need someone who really is like my eyes and ears. Like, and also fully understands me mm-hmm. to the fact that, like, I can leave them to, like, make a decision or, like, okay, cool. Like, can you help me deal with X? Or, like, is there something, like, I don't, I don't need to second guess mm. that they don't understand me and my vision and the way that I like things, yeah? Mm-hmm. That's why, like, obviously with Sharon, I know, Sharon, I know Sharon will be able to take that on. But it's not easy because, again, I'm very particular about the way yeah. that I want things. And like I said, I think also, like we mentioned on the episode, Shayla showed me exactly how I would want my wedding to be because, like I said, I believe the whole, the sole focus should be on me yeah, and my partner yeah, and our love and our united, like, yeah. front, like, for example, yeah, I know that people like the whole, oh, and the bridesmaids entering, hey, you're celebrating, we're beginning. I get it. It's fun. It's nice. But it's not about I don't you. want that. <laughs> it's about me. 
Like, I don't need things to drag. And especially for me, like, I like things, I want things to be like timely. I want people to enjoy themselves. I, it's, a, it's a day of celebration for everybody. Imagine the best my friend own... strolling in. Huh? When she's meant to be dancing Don't in. kill me. Nah, <laughs> Can you imagine? It's crazy. But what I can say is that for me, yeah, I want, I love hosting and I love everyone feeling like treated well, enjoying, making moments, laughing, all that sort of thing. Yeah. I don't want people, you don't need to feel the stress of mm. my wedding day. You're here to come and celebrate my love. I plan so that we all enjoy and you're celebrating my love by giving back to me, by attending and all that sort of thing. Like mm-hmm. I don't need anyone to bear that. And obviously, yes, for my traditional cool, we'll have Astro Bigger. That's that's vibes. Like, you're gonna get trad, you're gonna get like the material gonna, and yeah. everything anyway. Mm-hmm. It doesn't change anything. So that's why that, that's the reason why for me it's just like yeah. I just really want the sole focus. Like mm-hmm. when you immediately you're done, this is this is a perfect example. Like immediately you're done from the ceremony, <coughs> yeah, and you go to the reception. Yeah. I don't need the long introduction. It's straight away, welcome to Bad and Green. I don't mm-hmm. need all this walkie, wookie, 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 all oh, the yeah. It's not about you. <laughs> my fault. Let's move on. My move fault. I have that stance as well. Yeah. But I think my main thing is I just don't want stress. Yeah. I don't want someone telling me they don't like the the the, the color that I've picked. Mm. They don't like the hairstyle I've picked. Mm. They don't like this. Like I'd rather just everybody just feel comfortable. Come as you are. Come as you are. I shan't, I think come I, as I think come, should, come as think, a guest. Yeah. Just come and enjoy yourself because I don't want to. I just don't. I just don't want. The amount of stress that a wedding is already, you're now dealing with five or six yeah. girls again. Mm. Oh, I don't like the person I've been partnered in into yeah, dance. Like, he can't dance. Oh, I don't really like the song we're we're or... Oh, I missed the bus. Uh, we're get, uh, <laughs> can, I need to get on the bus. <laughs> <laughs> uh-uh. And the thing is, though, it sounds you so know like... just shocks me? Yeah. Just listening, I'm just like... Who would do that? Yeah. You say that. You say that. But mm. the bride's room. I mean, you mm. guys know your friends, obviously. Yeah. No, we but know. It's not, your, it's not, it's not, it's not about knowing and, your friends. Yeah, it's not about it's, like people unexpected. have said. Unis- unexpectedly, yes. their friends have started to act up. But you when know it what? Comes it's to their wedding, me. I think it's and, money, and, and I know. I think it's money. <laughs> money in general. Okay, ho- 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 hold on, stuff. hold on, speak hold on. But I'm saying, you're saying that. Oh, but you know your friends. The people that have come to out to say that. Oh. X, Y, and Z happened at my wedding. Mm. Them too, they will understand. Oh, I know my friends. That's they will never, yeah. he will never, she will never. Mm. Then they come in on the, the bridesroom to tell me that uh, uh, the bridesmaid came and didn't. Do you understand? Mm, mm, mm. Shout out the bridesroom, but yeah, fam, yeah, it's crazy. People act a certain way when things are happening in your life. Mm. My friend said it as well. When she had got pregnant and had a baby, mm. people started moving different. Mm. I don't know, maybe they think because you have a baby, you're now dead. Mm. That you can't attend anything anymore. Yeah, so it's Do you understand? Like, they start why you, you like, certain like, situations. Just start putting you in certain purposely. situations. It's, just like, it's not purposely, but it's just like, it things just happen when you're at different stages of your life. Mm. Friends that you think, oh, yeah, we're going to be together. Mm. Oh, mm. like, no. Mm. No. Yeah. And yeah. I'd rather just eliminate that thing altogether. Altogether, mm. so there's no problem. Yeah. Yes, people might still be a type of way when it comes to the time I'm getting married or whatever. Mm, mm. But in terms of things potentially ruin my day, mm. I'd rather just erase, erase that as possibility much as, as much as I can. Mm. And that is no bridal party. Yeah, I hear it. Come oh, Sharon, and enjoy. But do you agree though that like, I know you're saying that you don't feel like anyone would do that and stuff like that. But do you agree how money is like a really big like factor in these situations? Like how much it costs to be on a bridal train and also the timings of it. Yeah. And also your standards, just like now you mentioned like sense, you know, one minute you're living this sort of lifestyle, the next you're now living a different type of lifestyle. Mm-hmm. doesn't mean all your friends are now on that new lifestyle, but now are you now going to now not have what it is that you can afford because everybody else can't afford it for the day that is actually about you. Mm. And you know, we had that conversation of, Oh, are you meant to be visually aware of the financial situations mm, your that your friend. friends are in, in for your wedding. Yeah. That is the only one day yeah. that you want to do. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Not everyone can be... Not everyone. Should I answer? Oh, yeah, 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 go on. on. <laughs> go on. Um, we're just, we're yeah, just yeah, yeah. with like five questions. Done. Um, before I get onto that, mm. when I said, but who would do that? Mm. I know people would do that, mm. by the way. Like, I know people would mm-hmm. do that. But I'm just like, when you're even picking the people, right, mm. on your train... 
don't even necessarily think that you should always be picking the people that are closest to you. Yeah. Obviously, you do. But I think you should even then pick those people that are closest to you and then filter out, like, who is actually reliable? Mm. Who is actually, but like... remember, people get upset. That's their business. But they that's do. where I feel like, I'm not going to lie, it's my wedding day. Mm. Like, I don't care if... Not that I don't care. That sounds, like, inconsiderate. Mm. But I'm sorry if you thought I was going to pick you and I didn't pick you. Mm. Mm. Like, it's my wedding day at the end of the day. I'm mm. actually picking the people that, like have actually impacted my life. How mm. I be- I believe they've impacted my life. Mm. Whether you think you've been an impact or not, that's mm. still up for debate. Do you mm. get what I'm trying to say? Mm. But anyway, to your point about money and stuff, mm. absolutely. But I just genuinely feel like if you can't afford to do it, just don't be a part of my train. But people don't even know. No, but and I feel like people fall into situations me, later after saying yes already. Yeah, and they yeah, don't yeah. Wanna now. But I, I, I do think like with me, because I'm like quite... Like to the point that you were trying to make. Like I try to be like aware or like conscious of the fact that I don't want to be putting people in situations where they may not feel comfortable with money, right? Mm. And I know my I know there are my friends who will say, like, I can't afford to do that. Mm. But then I know that there's some people that will on the side like be asking for money because they don't mm. want to be coming to me to say. Mm. But my whole thing is that I feel like hopefully I would pick people that feel comfortable to tell me, like, Sharon, like. I love you mm. and I would love to be part of your train, but I actually mm. can't afford to be. Mm. So I'm just going to be part of the congregation. I'll say mm. thank you very much. Mm. But I do understand it's a financial burden, but I just feel like I'm grown enough to like, God forbid, yeah, even if let's say you were getting married mm. and like you obviously, you're my maid of honor, I'm yours. Mm. And I couldn't afford it. Let's mm. say like something's happened and I actually can't afford it. Yeah. And you also can't afford to fit the bill either. Mm. I just have to be like, you know, I would, do this for you mm. if I could but I can't mm. like I don't know I just yeah I hear you I hear you again also maybe it's just me but I don't see like the real benefit of bride yeah that's fine parties. Like, I don't know what they do maybe someone can let me know yeah what do they, what do? they actually do because I don't know why you're looking at me <laughs> no because you want to so I'm just yeah. I want a bridal party just because I want to have people in my part of my wedding mm. who have made me the woman I am today I want to share yes. that day with those people that's mm-hmm. why I want to do it. It's not because I want people to dance in. I don't even like all that. If I didn't have to dance on my wedding day, mm. I, I mean, I am a. I do dance. Like, mm. when I go out to parties, like, I love doing that. Mm. But I hate attention. I don't mm. like any of that stuff. Mm. For me, I'm even scared about my wedding day. Mm. We were even having this conversation today when Beatrice and I were getting our makeup done. Mm. That at my 25th, when they were singing Happy Birthday, did I not pull her to the front? I was even explaining about how I tried to sneak in and then you told me and to I go back. And I was like, back. can you get back? <laughs> yeah. What I don't heck? even like How much that was stuff? that dress? Can you, can you legit, go back man, to the stuff? Legit, legit. I don't even like that stuff. Like, it's not about dancing in. It's not about aesthetics. Like, mm. I know some people, for them, bridal train is just aesthetics which is yeah. why I think those kind of people those are the people that shouldn't even be having bridal trains because yeah. we're actually putting people in positions where it's like now I've got mm. to dye my eyebrows blonde That's, like no yeah. <laughs> you know what it's I mean so if someone told me oh I like um, I don't think any of my friends would do this though like in terms of I was like oh guys this is the kind of hair I would like my bridesmaids to have mm. I can't imagine any of my friends being like I'm not doing that mm. but even if someone was just like oh I don't necessarily really like that look like can I do this instead mm. I don't really care. Like, for me, mm. I don't even really care if you guys all have... Actually, I might care if you all have different hair. But what mm. I'm trying to say is, for me, it's not about the look. It's mm. actually about the fact that I'm getting married. Yeah. You women have been instrumental in my life. Yeah. I would love to share this day with you. Yeah. That is Fair literally enough. it. Fair, Fair enough. Fair Interesting. Enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But anyway, like you said, I I still very much believe that money is... um Money is the root of a lot of evil. And that money can... <laughs> Yeah. No, but it is. It's a sharp left. No, but it is. No, it is. And also, it like, is. yeah, it, it 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 brings out the best and the worst. In yeah, people, definitely, sure. definitely. A l- heavy on the worst. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, those are things that are just. Hmm. I don't know. It's very uh. Somehow. No. Yeah. So why do you want a maid of honor? Is it just for I the just reasons that you said? Yeah, mainly that, and also. Maybe it's also slightly what you mentioned, but like, yeah, maybe. Because the thing is like, what the things that you've mentioned that I don't need to be your maid of honor to do that, to be your eyes and your ears and to help you with decisions. Like I can, that's a wedding planner. Yeah. Like that's some, I can, that's somebody who can assist the wedding planner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, Mm. I think it's probably what you mentioned about being like instrumental part. But also I think it's because I know when it comes to my relationship, I'm not someone, like you mentioned, there's some things where, like, you keep things 
to your relationship. You keep things like separate, all that mm-hmm. sort of thing. But I'm naturally like, I tend to share that part with you quite a bit. So like, I've always said as well, even before the whole bridal thing, I've always said your wedding day, like, it's about your relationship and your, you know, the partnership you have with that person. Everyone has different views. You mentioned about you want the people to be instrumental to your life. Mm. Whereas for me, it's more about who's instrumental to my relationship. Mm. That will be you because that's actually how it's been set up and how mostly will always be set up. Obviously, God willing, it's the way it is now. But do you get what I'm trying to say? So that's why for me, like it will always be from that perspective. Like it's never going to be just, because if it was, if it was based just on me, then I would have included like my Family, like actually, like my cousins, like people who are like core parts. Do you know what I mean? But like, mm-hmm. yeah, no, it's always about the relationship mm. fundamentally. Um, but yeah, also think maybe just from an honor perspective, it would only really be you that I need to do that for. Yeah, because I was gonna say like, yeah, I just the things that you've described. Yeah. Obviously, I need that anyway, and yeah. I'm just blessed that you happen to have those skills too. Yeah, but even if you didn't, yeah, you would still be my maid of honor. Even if you were like. Just obviously, I just said, like, you know, pick people who are also yeah. organized. But because of the relationship I have with you, even if you were the most disorganized person, oh, I, wouldn't I just wouldn't that. give you that task. But you would still be my maid of honor. I wouldn't pick you. Rah. But we wouldn't be friends because okay, I, we wouldn't true. be as close. And that's my point is that, like, <laughs> no, but it's true. <laughs> but I'm just saying, like, I maybe. Pick you. No, I yeah, wouldn't pick you. No, I wouldn't. <laughs> no, but the thing is, I get what she's saying. But what I'm yeah. trying to say is, like, like you have the skills to be a maid of honor, right? Because yeah. I think before people used to just think, and I think this is actually where people started to trip up. So we thank God for places like um, the Rise Room. Rise room. Mm. Because I think people used to just think, oh, the br- maid of honor just shows up, looks pretty, and that's it. No, mm. you're actually the person's right hand. Yes. Like, do you know what I mean? Yeah. You're basically you have to make the sure wedding that the planner. hair looks nice. The, you you the, have a the, you have a role. The, yeah, the dress is looking, you know, it's a proper you role. Need to, role. You need to make sure that they've eaten. You yeah. need to make sure that, like, if they need to go to the toilet, you're taking. When they're, the, when they're walking on the thing, is it not you that's Everything. doing the back of their dress? You yeah. need to do a lot of stuff. Yeah. But what I'm trying to say is that let's just say, like, I don't know, you had some sort of flaw where it's like you're just not very good with like um maybe she just doesn't like attention. No, 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 not even that. I'm trying to say that she can't necessarily do the full role of the maid of honor. Like she's forgetful in terms of she's not the type, she's not, she doesn't have attention to detail. So like I'll be thinking, oh, my hair's out of place, but she's like, oh, daddy, daddy, daddy. Like I would still, because we still have a good friendship, mm. but you just don't have that skill. Would you put me as maid of honor? Or would you put me as a bridesmaid? No, I would I still make you my maid of honor. Fair enough. Everyone's different. <laughs> I get Everyone's what you're saying though, though but yeah. I think again, like I said, I'm just very, I'm just very, very particular, very particular. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As much as you want, can mean a for lot me, to it's me, the, I just don't want, like, I just don't, don't want stress. Know, don't worry, no, I, I just don't like stress. I hear you. Like, imagine someone telling but, you, no, oh, things, like, my, stress... my wedding shoe don't fit. What? No, what I about you. mine? Yeah, I hear you. What about my wedding shoe? Exactly. I agree what the with, heck? I agree with you on the stress thing. Why are telling again... me? And then you, you, we're following you. Imagine you're going to the bridesmaids fitting. Oh, I love that. I hate it. Have you ever watched them say, say oh, yes yeah, to yeah, the yeah. dress? Oh, the... oh, Honestly, I, that's, that's part of the thing why I was saying like, I genuinely couldn't have anyone who is not selfless on my, mm. on my bridal <sighs> yeah, chain. Like the women I don't that like I this dress. It makes my... me look frumpy. No, oh, we're good. No. Oh, we're good. Oh, where's Kim's? Where's this? Wow. Oh. I can't do that. Yeah, Wait, somehow. I actually don't. I'm sorry, I your bride's have time. You're making your life easier, not harder. Yeah, but obviously they want to. You don't want to make them feel not beautiful. You don't want to make them feel like, But my thing is like, like mm. imagine, imagine wearing a dress. Like there was a situation where a bridesmaid didn't want to wear a particular dress because it was strapless. Mm. Everybody, did, that's yes. how the bride wanted it. Yeah. She wanted all of her bridesmaids to wear strapless dresses. Yeah. She said that she doesn't like wearing the strapless dresses. Mm. It's too like it's too revealing for her. But that's what the bride wanted, mm. and it now made it seem like the bridesmaid was throwing attention mm. because she was uncomfortable. Mm. What do you say to that? Mm. I think because I'm the type of person where I actually genuinely don't really care how I look most of the time. Like if I'm doing, if it's my birthday or if it's my wedding, mm. obviously I care. Yeah, but. If it's one of you guys' birthday... But imagine that like, you're, you're... Remember, you have to remember you're in front of, like, a yeah, lot just, of people. I know, but I actually don't... Like, yeah, it's you. I'm you not like that. Yeah. I'm not that type of person. Like, yeah, I'm fine. the type of person nervous. where I'm like, if you're telling me this is exact... And you think I look great, I don't care about what I, I look like. It's not my day. Whether you, whether you look great. 
Who? The bride? Yeah, she might not think. Yeah. She doesn't care. She just wants it to be a particular yeah, way. Well, then that's. And the dress was ugly. At, at the end God. of the day, if you don't want to be a part of the bridal train, like you can say no. Like mm, I don't know why mm. everyone thinks they have to say yes. Mm. Like I'm sorry, if five of my friends got married in the same year and they all want to be, I'm not being everybody's bridesmaid. Yeah, that's crazy. Sorry. What the I'm hell? Saying, people are just too. You people, you need to force the backbone. <laughs> I'm crying. I'm crying. But, anyway. but um, anyway. Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. As always, make sure you guys follow us on our socials. That is BTS pod underscore on Twitter, on Instagram and on TikTok. Make sure you guys subscribe to the YouTube channel. Yes, we have visuals for those of you who are listening on audio and Apple Music or wherever you're listening to from on your audio platforms. We do have visuals too. So head over to the YouTube page, the BTS podcast, subscribe and hit the notification bell. So you are notified when we drop an episode, which is every Monday. We hope you guys enjoyed this one and we look forward to gracing you with another episode the following Monday. See you then. Bye. Bye.